All right, welcome back to Virginia. This morning is 923. Welcome to two guys cooking with a chef, a real guy. Our next guest is a sous chef at a local country club, and his passion for food started at a young age while creating some great memories with his grandmother. This is David Angeli, and he makes his debut on our Virginia This Morning Kitchen with a dish that features tender, succulent scallops paired with a, hello, homemade butternut squash puree. So, David, yum, yum. welcome to the kitchen. Good to see nice you, Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming in, man. Your, your debut on television, yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you're going to try to help these two novices right here kind of steer <laughs> This is only like our third day on television. <laughs> so. uh, with scallops, right? Right, yes, sir. Uh, Tell us, what are we going to be making? There are U15 sea scallops. Uh, the lower the size, the bigger they are. Or the lower the number, the bigger they are. A little garlic oil, some olive oil. Got the pan hot. So... U15? Right, so yes, what, sir. So what, what does that number go up to? Oh, it goes way up there. 11D. <laughs> yeah. It goes up to 11D. Yeah, it goes Ele into, into the 20s. Look so. at those bad boys. What should we be looking for when we're in uh, shopping at the um, at the seafood counter? Well, for, for gonna, the scouts? Yeah, if we're going to be looking for scouts. Well, if it's uh, the pink ones, they're the females. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want the uh, extreme white ones because they'll tend to uh, be rubbery and overcook and whatnot. So look for the pink ones. Right, okay. yes, sir. Didn't know that. All right. right. Well, the pink ones are the females. Yeah. These are the males right here. And you always got to take out the muscle. Already, already took the muscle take out. out. the muscle. Who knew? Because <laughs> it's inedible. There's one right here. It's crescent-shaped usually, and you just peel it off. And you're already taking it off? Right, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Thank God yeah. we didn't have to do that. <laughs> We're not allowed to use the knives yeah. here. So you got a little olive oil in here. A little butter. Preheat the oven? Right, yes, sir. A little garlic oil. Mm. Everybody loves garlic, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Just make sure you have that mouthwash after. We do oh. have the exhaust fan on, don't we? <laughs> I think we do. Just checking. A little sizzle, too, man. How easy is it to uh, to cook with these bad boys, David? Pretty easy. Yeah. Um, people overthink them. It's about two and a half, three minutes on each side. You we overthink make our sure. jobs every day. <laughs> I you want to get into the uh, opaque. When it gets to the opaque color, then they're done. You see how they're kind of translucent right now? Yeah. I would imagine this is not going to take long for scallops. No, no, sir. It'll be about six minutes. Six That's minutes total or six minutes on each side? or uh, Two and a half to three minutes on each side. Okay. So you can about cool. six minutes. Now, David, it looks like you've already done some uh, prep work over here. Right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell us what are the ingredients so, we have. We have a uh, mescaline mix right here. Uh, it's got like a uh, radicchio, some uh, oak leaf. Uh, it's mixed, mixed greens. Put a little in there like that. Mm -hmm. Put a little blood orange vinegar right in there if you like, sir. Go for it, Mike. You do it. Good. Okay. He's a trained right. professional. Gentle or liberal, or what do you think? I thought I wouldn't stop. <laughs> That's oh, good. We're getting... That's good. Okay. Nice marinade. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice job, Mike. Nice <laughs> Thanks very much. I managed not to screw that up. A little Granny Smith apple in there. Don't quit your day job, though. I did set the studio on fire once, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> so a little Granny Smith apple, right, too. Right, yes, sir. Get a little sweetness. So have a nice little spring taste. Right, too. yes, yeah. sir. Some uh, jicama. Mm -hmm. What is jicama? It's a Mexican turnip. Mexican turnip. Jicama. Right, it's yes, uh, readily available? Uh... Pretty, pretty much. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Hickam, okay. Yeah. What's uh, it taste like? I mean, does it taste like turnip? Uh, it's kind of earthy, a little sweetness. I, uh, should, I don't know. I don't have any. Uh, all right. I mean, I'll just go in there. Come on, we're all friends. Just, <laughs> there we go. Stick a finger in there. It's infused with some lime juice to preserve it, too. Wow, there's some lime juice in there, man. <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> thank, oh, thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Sorry about that. A little Woo. pomegranate right here. Wow. Oh, pomegranate. A little freeze curled celery. All right, I'm, uh, how are we doing on the scallops? I'm, uh, You're good. Yeah, you good? You good? good All right. Yes, sir. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. And this is going to be an appetizer dish? Right, yes, sir. Okay. Pretty big appetizer, mm -hmm. as you can see right there. Ooh, they, they pop, too. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is not your normal cooking service, so we appreciate <laughs> you yeah. making yeah, do no with worries. what we got here. No worries. So uh, we can go ahead and build a salad. Put a little more mix in here. Mm-hmm. We have uh, pomegranate, a little jicama, Granny Smith, right. nice spring mix of uh, lettuce. Right, yes, sir. Okay. Make sure what these are. Okay. <laughs> so you know what you're doing. I'm trying, man. <laughs> Learn. Learn from the best, brother. Yeah. Greg, do you want a little spring mix to take the edge off that lime juice? <laughs> I don't trust you. If, if David serves it, maybe. I don't know. What, what is it his stuff? Yeah. It's not stuff that I got from like a drawer somewhere. 
You don't know what you have over in the weather center. All right, what do we have right there? This right here is some chili powder. And is that going on the, the salad? Right, yes, sir. Chili powder in the salad, all right. Yeah. Let's get a little, little zing contrast mm -hmm. flavor. So we got all that. Right. Were these marinating, by the way, these scallops? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just get them right out of the package? Right. Or yes, right well, okay. they're fresh. They're fresh. Sure. I don't do frozen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and give it a little flip. Did you want to talk about the puree a little bit? Yeah, we can do that. It's got uh, it's, uh, butternut squash. Mm. They smell fantastic. And did you season these scallops at all? Uh, salt and pepper. They're Just a little salt and pepper. pre seasoned. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little let's stir do, right there. Got a little ginger, a little ginger, chicken stock in it, salt, pepper, a little uh, cardamom. Mm -hmm. And so how long is this going to be on the stove for? Not long. No? Not long. You can actually serve this cold if you like. You know, for really? people at home that are watching. Is, is that okay if you make it with, with uh, vegetable stock? Yeah, you can do that too. Okay. Yes, sir. Any kind of stock will work. Mm -hmm. So this isn't going to be like shrimp where you put that on maybe for a minute or two and then it's off. Oh, right? no. No, sir. No, sir. The yeah, time that's on the stove, white. is that because of the, the thickness of the scallop as well? Right, right. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See how it turned a little more white right there? Yeah, a little they more are. opaque. That's when it's getting closer to being done. Mike, you want to turn the scallops? <laughs> <laughs> well, leave it to the, the uh, professional there, Greg. I'll just handle uh, giving you stuff of lime juice. Why don't you, why don't you have some of that... Uh, <laughs> what is the it jicama? Called? The jicama, yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Try all that. And what else is uh, going to the, uh, the puree? Oh, that's... It's done already, right there. Okay. It's got the ginger and the stock up. and everything. Heat it up and just spoon it on here. All right, let's do this. How long have you been cooking with uh, with scallops? Uh, over 20 years. It's all about presentation too, Dave. Right. Yes, sir. Eat with oh, your eyes. Oh, you see that little that little wrist move, Mike? That that was, that was a little swoosh. I like that. Now, with the chili powder and the salad, is there going to be a little bit of a kick, too? Do you like to have that? Right, that yeah, just, just to offset it with the sweetness and everything. Okay. So, so, David, you do this for a living, your vocation. Do you cook a lot at home because your dad, you're a busy guy at home? Uh, my wife does a lot of the cooking. She loves <laughs> to cook, too. So. Well, well, that's you, good. You're real busy at home because this guy just had a baby boy 10 yes, weeks ago, yes, right? Sir. Your yes, second sir. child. Yes, Congratulations, little Aiden. man. Yeah, little and Aiden. And I have a beautiful beautiful daughter, uh, Ashlyn May. Awesome. Ashlyn May. Yep. That is awesome. Father's Day's coming up, you know? Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little microgreens on here. How old's your daughter? Uh, she'll be five. Five? Or, uh, June 8th. And do you invite her into the kitchen at all when, uh, you know, either you oh, I or... I teach her how to do dough. She, she can make her own cookies. Really? She wow. Needs sauces. She needs to come on the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll bring her next time. Yeah. Let's do it, man. A little fried leeks. All right. A little right. crunch. Let's do this. We've got, got cornmeal. Cornmeal? Yes, sir. Look at how beautiful this is, Mike. I know. It's a healthy dish. And even though it looks complicated, he's putting it together in these gradual steps, so... Indeed. We, we might be able to do this at home, perhaps. Yep. Uh, it's a little Himalayan pink peppercorn dust. Oh, now you're, now you're, throwing, <laughs> now you're getting a little fancy. Yeah. <laughs> you're all over the world. Mexico, and Himalayas. What do we have here? And this is imported from France. It's a uh, trout roe, which is another name for caviar. Uh, what are we talking? We hear caviar is pretty expensive, but what does this container cost, roughly, if you don't mind my uh, asking? It's about $20 for two ounces. This is seven ounces. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, then. That's, <laughs> that's, that's Mike's pay grade. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to well, serve this up. We've got uh, 15 seconds left right. here.